the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how somebody gives away whether they're thinking about things they like or they don't like even if they never say a word for the purpose of this demonstration I've roped in my long-suffering spouse Jim who's here and what we're going to do is this first of all I'm going to ask him to think about somebody he likes somebody or something and so you're going to be able to get a good sense of what he looks like and then I'm going to ask him to think about somebody he's not so fond of or something he's not so fond of and you'll be able to look at what that looks like and then for the third time through he's going to think about one of those two things but he's not going to tell us which one it is and we'll have to guess so first of all Jim can you for a few seconds please think about somebody or something that you do like Okay, thank you. And just to wash that all away, um, can we think about something sort of neutral? So that, you, I don't know, washing up, is that neutral? Maybe that's not neutral. Um, and now moving on to the second phase of this. Can you think about somebody or something you're not so keen on? Brilliant, thank you very much. Don't want to hold you there too long. And again, let's just take you back to neutral. Please just think about something very neutral for just a few seconds. Right, and now I'd like you to choose whether to think about something or somebody you like or you don't like, but don't tell us, just make the choice and do the thought. Okay, I don't know what everybody else thinks, but I think that that was something you, that you weren't so fond of. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> I hope you also got that uh, um, out there and that it came across. And also that this is, hopefully this has been an interesting and useful kind of video and something that you might actually use in everyday life. That's all for now. Many thanks and thank you, Jim.